<laughs> We're just sitting on the side of the street enjoying some donuts and coffee. We're like the cops of Athens. <laughs> oh man. Your bite was bigger than mine. We're going to end our meal with a shot of alcohol and some beets. <laughs> Yasas Kalimera. Hello, good morning from Athens, Greece. We have made it to country number 10, which means we are a fifth of the way done with our 50 country goal. So crazy. This is actually our second time here in Greece. And if you didn't know, before we started our YouTube channel, we actually had the opportunity to travel to nine different countries around the world. So although Greece is number 10 on our channel, it's actually number 18 in our books. And so today we are going to start off our time here with a Greek food tour. I already have my little list already, so we're gonna go and grab some brunch. Food tour days are Chad's favorite days because he gets to eat non-stop, no restrictions. <laughs> and it's Greek food today, which I know is one of his top, top favorites. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. We're gonna start it off strong with the food that most people around the world link with Greece, and that is the gyro. So this is a handheld sandwich that is stuffed with sliced meat, vegetables, and also french fries. But I think my favorite part is the sauce, which is tzatziki sauce, and I'll get to that in just a second. But, oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's been too long since we've had an authentic gyro. Do you want to do the bite actually, Chad? Yeah. I feel like Chad would do a better bite than me. <laughs> wow, I feel honored. He has honored. a bigger mouth. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. My favorite thing, like Claire said, is the tzatziki sauce because it makes everything blend so much better. Otherwise, it would be extremely dry. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The infamous tzatziki sauce. This is a yogurt-based sauce with cucumbers, dill weed, lemon juice, and also garlic. Very garlicky. Usually after eating this, we just need to like brush our teeth because the taste really lingers in there. But it's so worth it because it's delicious. Also, it's in Claire's cookbook. It is in my cookbook. <laughs> we loved it so much. <laughs> yeah, I had to make an easy one um, that could get you tzatziki on your table in less than five minutes. <laughs> All right, we got some pita bread. Gonna dip it in. Three, two, one. Next up, we have the Greek salad, which in Greek is called poriatiki. And this is basically a salad that doesn't have any lettuce. Instead, you've got all sorts of chopped vegetables from cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, and also some kalamata olives. And of course, you've got to have that big brick of feta cheese to top it. The last thing we got is some baki, which are basically big chunks of meat placed onto a skewer that is then grilled until tender. And of course, these usually come with lots of different sides, like french fries, vegetables, pita bread. But we just got the skewer itself, as well as this tiny piece of pita bread, just because we're eating a lot today. We've got to save room for all the things we have to eat. <laughs> it's like a wand. Yes, it is. We are just outside the entrance of the ancient Acropolis, but we have decided that we will not be going in today because we'll be going in tomorrow when Claire's parents arrive. But I did want to quickly tell you guys that three years ago, when I saw the Parthenon for the first time, it was a very special experience for me because I have a lot of nostalgia with that building because I actually grew up in Nashville, Tennessee, and growing up, we would take field trips to a replica of the Parthenon that they have there in downtown. Claire and I have actually been there before on a few dates. So the Parthenon definitely has a special place in my heart and getting to see it for the first time three years ago literally like blew my mind. So it has made Athens a place that I absolutely love. Although it looks very textured and bumpy with lots of grip, it's very slippery. <laughs> it's like all the stones have been polished. Yeah, they're all like smoothed over with all the walking. Something that's really interesting about Athens is the amount of graffiti that's covering like all the walls, all the buildings here. And it's so cool because you have these ancient ruins and then you have such a modern art form. Um, it's just a very interesting mix that I really don't see very often. Now we have hiked down and we are heading towards a donut shop. Donuts. 
It is officially donut time and we picked up some ukamades. Unfortunately, the traditional place that we wanted to go to was closed today, so we had to go to the place with a more modern take. So traditionally, they do look like little fried donuts, kind of like the picarones that we had over in Peru. Um, but the more modern take kind of looks more like donut holes. And so we've got a whole basket of little donut holes. The traditional ones are glazed with honey and then dusted over with cinnamon. So very delicious, very sweet. <laughs> Did I eat the whole thing? Yeah, one bite. Wow. Come get your little donut ball. <laughs> Very crunchy. Yeah. Not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Our favorite desserts are the ones that are never too sweet. I think another reason Chad loves food tour days is there's usually a coffee that he gets to try. And so today we are trying the Greek coffee. It has been told that it is very similar to the Turkish coffee, just as thick but not as roasted. So Chad, ready to give it a try? Yes, please. Ooh, this one's really sweet. Yeah, I told him to add some sugar because I know you like sugar. Uh -huh. Oh, yum. White points. Yep. <laughs> Way to go, Claire. I think we can leave this doorway now. We're just sitting on the side of the street enjoying some donuts and coffee. <laughs> it's the only quiet place we could find. We're like the cops of Athens. <laughs> <laughs> Four flights. Wow. You did slow down at the end though. <laughs> Chad actually randomly found this Airbnb when we were searching for a place to stay in Athens and it had no reviews and we literally thought the view that they had in their pictures was photoshopped in and so we had very low expectations coming here but once we got here we were actually amazed that the view is completely real. We have a perfect look at the Acropolis and so we can watch it day through night and also there's a wraparound balcony, three bedrooms, a kitchen, two living rooms, lots and lots of space here. We've been like running running around this place and it'll be really great for when my parents come. Yeah, I've been yelling to Claire like, Claire! And I'd be like quiet, hiding, <laughs> <laughs> hiding away from him. Speaking of this wonderful view, there it is in all of its glory. This is Claire's happy dance. More food is to come. It's a good place when they bring you water. Yeah, we've been drinking like the tap water in Turkey for three weeks, so it's nice to have bottled tap water. <laughs> First item for dinner is saganaki, and this is fried cheese that's actually named after the frying pan in which it's made out of. Of course, this is a more modern take on it. The traditional ones usually have grill marks because of the pan. Oh man. It basically is like a mozzarella stick. Actually, let's put some lemon on it. Voila. Voila. Greece is very much known for making a delightful octopus. And so, you know I had to try it. I love seafood. And unfortunately, they did not have the grilled octopus legs. So we are having the octopus in vinegar, which I think will taste just as good. It's got so many olives. Mmm. It's been so long since I've had octopus. Is it as good as Portugal? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. Let's have the onion. Wow. Wow. This is yemista. This word directly translates to filled with or stuffed. So we've got some stuffed vegetables that are baked until they're soft. And it looks like it's topped with more cheese. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> uh oh. Did you burn? No, I'm a pro at eating hot food. I do believe we have another comfort food item on the table. This is moussaka, and it is an eggplant and ground meat casserole topped with bechamel sauce and more cheese. <laughs> yes. Look at that eggplant. The last time I came to Greece, I ate my body's weight in Greek yogurt and honey, and I'm so excited to do that again while we're here. There is literally no yogurt like Greek yogurt in Greece because it is the thickest, creamiest, most delicious thing in the world. Oh, and their honey is out of this world. 
Cheers. Your bite was bigger than mine. Our server just brought us a shot of mastica, is what she called it, and it's on the house. So I believe we're going to end our meal with a shot of alcohol and some beets. <laughs> glug, glug. <laughs> I'm actually quite nervous. I don't know when the last time we did a shot was. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, it's quite good. I think it kind of tastes like a perfume that you would get in a nice hotel. Pretty good. Overall, I would say that restaurant was a 10 out of 10. Excellent uh, service and experience. Claire love leftovers. <laughs> All right, how fast can you do it now? Don't. Well, 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 it's been a big day for our stomachs. And there were actually a couple things on my list that I wasn't able to find today, but we've got plenty of time here in Greece to eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> and if you'd like to join us on our journey to 50 countries around the world, hit subscribe. And if you want to see behind the scenes, exclusive content, join us over on Patreon. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.